pictures on the wall of Sing Tong Temple in Lumpabang Province not only illustrate the richness of tradition and culture of the ancient people of Lao, they also reveal the lifestyle of the people who depended on natural resources, in particular traditional fishing as a means of subsistence. Most of the people of Lao live close to the riverbank and have relied on rivers as a vital source of food for centuries, as they still do today. In particular, they rely heavily on the Mekong River, which flows for approximately 1,800 kilometres through their country. Lao people know very well about the abundance of fisheries resources in the Mekong River and where they can catch fish for their subsistence. Capture fisheries and aquaculture play a very important role in the livelihood of Lao people. Capture fisheries production comes mainly from the Mekong River and its tributaries, but also from reservoirs, irrigation canals and swamps, which provide 30 to 35% of the total fishing area. In the past, fishing was mainly used for subsistence by fishers who used traditional fishing gears such as hooks, lines, gill nets and cast nets. Fishing methods and fishing gears differ slightly between lowland and highland areas. In the highlands of the northern provinces, scoop nets are used to catch fish in the river. Cast nets and gill nets also used. In the rice fields and lowland swamps, Many different types of traps and nets are employed to catch fish. Along the Mekong River, throughout the country, fishers use a wide variety of traps, cast nets, gill nets as well as hooks and lines. Men, women and children are involved in the wild capture fisheries in order to earn additional income for their households. Both men and women play an important role in the fishery. They always remember how good or bad the catches are. We asked one woman what was her maximum catch. About 10 to 20 kilograms. This year, we were able to catch a lot more fish compared with last year. How do you feel when you catch a lot of fish? When a lot of fish are trapped in my gill net, I am very happy. The Mekong River in the Kong district, Champasak province or Sipandon area, is characterised by rocks and deep pools which provide habitat for many fish species. In this area, fishers use gill nets throughout the year, but in the periods when the fish are migrating, 
they use specially constructed ton and lead traps to catch fish. The catch is used for both subsistence and trade. Fish are collected in the village market and then fish traders will transport them to the cities. Lao people have traditional cooking methods that are unique to Lao, such as gang ba, goldfish, and la ba and kai ba, types of minced spicy fish dishes. In order to preserve fish for long-term use, people also use traditional fish processing methods, including drying and fermenting fish and making sao fish. These have become staple foods for Lao people. Fish is the most important source of animal protein in Lao. Barely a meal goes by without some type of fish product being put on the table. And it is always a source of much enjoyment. As the population increases, there is a need to produce more fish for consumption. However, in some areas the amount of wild fish is declining as the use of illegal fishing gear has a negative impact on brood stock. This local fisher explains what he thinks is causing the decline in fish numbers. The number of fish has decreased because many illegal fishing methods are being used. For example, blasting with dynamite, poisoning and using electric shocks. In the past there were a lot of fish, usually we could catch 5 to 6 kilograms a day just by using hooks, but we can't do that anymore. The government of Lao PDR, in particular the Ministry of Agriculture and Forestry, has given priority to the sustainable development of water resources. Policies are focused on the protection of biodiversity and finding the balance between the use of natural resources and conservation. Therefore, every year on the 13th of July, people celebrate National Fish Release Day. In recognition of the importance of fisheries to the livelihood of people, the government of the Lao PDR has supported the development of fish breeding stations throughout the country. There are 62 fish breeding centres, of which 30 stations belong to the government and 32 stations are privately owned. The 